Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, unfortunately, it's looking less and less likely that we're going to see any cruises in August. Sorry, let me clarify that. What I mean by no sailings in August is I mean no sailings in North America, in particularly the United States. Along with some cruise lines like Cunard and Disney that have, uh, and some of the smaller cruise lines have set up, canceled their cruises all the way up until October. Well, now one of the major cruise lines out there, Norwegian Cruise Lines has canceled all their sailings all the way up until September and even the first one or two cruises in October as well for a couple of their sailings. That really, really does not bode well for any hopes of any kind of sailings in North America. Carnival, as you know, we originally thought that they had set up those eight cruise ships to sail out of the three cruise ports two in Florida, one in Texas, and they had the itinerary set and they had the, you know, brand new setup. This is where we're going. This is the ships that are going to be there in August. Well, if Norwegian's canceling all of their cruises all the way up until, you know, October, um, I'm guessing there's not going to be too much leeway in setting sail. And I'm wondering if Norwegian Cruise Line knows something that, they're just preparing for ahead of time to get that jump out there because, you know, for people rebooking and getting, you know, okay, your cruise is canceled, let's rebook you into some time next year ahead of the other cruise lines who haven't yet canceled those cruises. This could be a jump. They may know that the CDC is saying, you know what, that 100 day extension is going to be 160 days or 150 days. We don't know. Uh, nothing's coming down the pipe from anything. In fact, just a, a couple days ago, they initiated that red light, green light for the crew members of cruise ships. Um, you know, even though we know, knew about it two weeks ago, and even though the crews have been on the ships for 90 days, uh, 100 days, uh, they, uh, they finally have a system in place to tell if they should let people off or not. So yeah, we're really up in the air. Norwegian cancels all these cruise ships and now how does that bode for the United States at all? I mean, we're, we're coming up within almost 30 days now. Um, as of the, this video, it is the 17th of June, which means we have a month and a half before August and there is zero signs. And I mean zero signs of any leeway or any openings in the United States at all. Even the small cruise line, American Cruise Line, that was hoping to sail a small itinerary to Ketchikan and Haines in Alaska, their ships are very, very small. They only hold a hundred and some passengers. Uh, it's under the restrictions that are set in Canada, so it would be able to sail. Well, no, because uh, Haines, the township of Haines, about a week and a half ago, had their first case, their one case of the virus out there in Alaska. One single case. And the minute they got that case, they decided they don't want cruise ships at all the rest of the year. They held a meeting at a town council, even though it has nothing to do with cruise ships, the reason they had the one case out there, they decided that they're shutting down completely. So that would mean if American Cruise Lines wanted to do any kind of an Alaskan, it would basically be Ketchikan and someplace else. So it looks like the June, uh, the, the July settings that they were hoping for, it just, it by the time they figure out what ports are allowing them to go anywhere, it's, you know, the season's over. So it just, it looks just looks like it's not going to happen and october even is still in doubt i mean we don't know what the cdc is going to say we don't know how long that hundred day is going to 
affect anybody. And, and with the resurgence of cases, uh, for instance, in Florida, they just had their highest record amount of cases in one day for four days in a row last week. So no, it's, it's not looking any brighter for the cruise industry. Meanwhile, Disney is still set to open uh, in July. Yeah, and Universal, SeaWorld, Busch Gardens, all the attractions other than Disney are kind of open now. Cruise lines, we have heard nothing, absolutely nothing. And again, I will say this, it's all on the CDC. The CDC is the one that decides when the ports open and the CDC it will decide when the cruise ships are allowed to sail and what protocols have to be in place. The cruise lines have nothing. They can only say, what, what do you want us to do? What would you like us to do? And so far, the CDC has said nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. So if I was in charge of a cruise line right now, I would do what they did for uh, in Universal Studios and Disney. I would put your things in place, put your, your systems in place, say what you're going to do and say, here, CDC, this is what we want to do on this date. Say yes or no. Put the spotlight on the CDC to give you a reason why you can't or to approve you to do it. Because if you're waiting for them to make up their minds, we'll see you in 2024 because that's how long the CDC takes to make up its mind about anything officially, anything <laughs> officially. So yeah, that's where we stand. Norwegian has now canceled all the way up until October. And I'm quite sure you're going to hear some other cruise lines following suit very, very shortly. Well, I hope you liked this story. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, Hit that subscribe button till next time. Have yourself a safe and a great vacation.